Hey guys, welcome to um, the next instalment in the differentiation series, I guess I can start calling it now. Um, we'll be looking at uh, the second style of differentiation. Um, last lesson we looked at uh, the chain rule, or the function of a function rule. Today we're going to be looking at the product rule. Um, to start off with, we're going to look at one particular example, which I'm going to use the short method with that we learned a couple of lessons ago, and then we're going to look at uh, a different way to write it. So we're going to look at this question, 3x plus 1, brackets x minus 5. Um, now in the past, I'll put a y equals there as well, we've looked at dy dx, okay, and what we've actually done before we could uh, sort of uh, differentiate this, we need to expand the brackets so we could then work from there because at the moment we've got two things being multiplied together and we can't sort of just do that offhand um, at the moment. So if I expand the brackets, we get 3x squared minus 15x plus x minus 5. We can then um, pretty that up a little bit and put 3x squared minus 14x minus 5. Now, now we can differentiate that in respect to x. Um, so 2 times 3 is 6x to the power of 1 minus and then 1 times 14 is 14x to the power of 0 is just what, 14 and that minus 5 disappears because it's, it's x to the power of 0 so 0 times 5 is 0 okay that's a fairly easy way to do that and to be honest if you get a question like that you know I think it's probably a smart way of doing it but you're going to get much more challenging questions where you might have things like you might add to the power of 5 there and the power of 4 there which is going to create a lot of problems so we're going to look at a, a rule which we call the product rule that will enable us to do this a lot quicker. Now the product rule looks like this, dy dx is equal to u v dash plus v u dash. Now that looks very strange, okay, but what it actually looks at, it looks at these two terms being multiplied together being two different letters. For example, that could represent being u, and that could represent the being v. So, in this case, if I did it this way, dy dx is equal to, it says, I'm going to write down what u is by itself. So, u in this case is 3x plus 1. And I'm going to multiply it by v dash. Now, v dash means that we're going to differentiate this second one. Okay, so, well, if I differentiate this, it's just going to be 1, because x to the power of 1 is 1, x to the power of 0, so it's just 1. I'm now going to plus, and it's v, which is this second term by itself, times u dash. So if I differentiate 3x plus 1, we just get 3. Okay, so now what we've got here, we've got 1 times 3x, which is 3x, and 1 times 1 is 1 plus 3 times x is 3x minus 3 times 5 is 15 which I can get 3x plus 3x is 6x 1 minus 15 is minus 14 and look at that Bob's your uncle okay or Tommy or whoever um, you've got the same answer now obviously looking at that the first way it's probably easier for this type of question but we're going to look at the harder type of questions where this becomes essential but again, just to recap, um, it's u v dash plus v u dash. So basically, you're taking one term as it is, and then you're timing it by the differentiation of the second term, plus the other term by itself, and then differentiate the alternate one. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. You can do v u, v u dash plus u v dash. It doesn't really matter which way you put them around. It might sound a little bit complicated to start with, um, but let me tell you, it does get a lot easier. Like a lot of these things, it's um, it's a doing thing. you, you got to do more of, of them to uh, understand it. Um, so we're going to do another one. We're going to do y is equal to, let's say, 5x squared outside of 2x minus 1. Okay. So um, again, I could multiply the brackets out and do it that way, but we're going to do this style of u v dash plus v u dash, which is called the product rule. Again, because you've got two different terms, you've got the 5x squared, and then you've got the 2x minus 1, and they're being multiplied together. That's why it's called the product rule. Okay, so y dash is equal to u, which is simply just 5x squared, times 
v dash, which is this one. So we're going to differentiate 2x minus 1. Well, hopefully you said that if I differentiate 2x minus 1, it equals 2. Plus, now I'm going to take the v, which is the 2x minus 1. And I'm going to multiply that by the first term, the u. And I'm going to, but I'm going to differentiate it. So 2 times 5 is 10. x to the power of 1. I can leave it that way. So y dash is equal to, well, 2 times 5x squared is 10x squared. Plus, if you want to write like this, 10x outside of 2x minus 1, and then go further, you can. You can do it in one hit. It's up to you. Okay, 10x times 2x is 20x squared minus 10x times 1 is 10x. And then the last step, I can just simplify down. 10x squared plus 20x squared is 30x squared minus 10x. Okay, and if we just quickly um, just check this, if I did it the first way, 5x squared times 2x equals 10x cubed minus 5x squared. If I differentiate this in respect to x, we get 30x squared minus 10x, and look, the answers are the same. And again, you might think that's an easy way, and probably I agree with you, but let's look at the next, uh, next question, example 3, and you'll understand why we need to do it this way. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, a question 3x to the power of 4 outside of 4 minus x all cubed. Now obviously you can start to see that if I try to expand this all out, this whole thing is being cubed. So I'm going to have 4 minus x, 4 minus x, 4 minus x, and the whole expanding part of it now becomes quite challenging. So we're not going to do that. We're going to do the short way, which is called the product rule. Now, if you want to put u and v there, you can do that. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so the rule we know is u v dash plus v u dash, or vice versa. So if we take the first one, 3x to the power of 4, multiply now. We have to differentiate this term. So actually, if you recognize this from our last lesson, this is called um, one of the chain rules. Okay, that one of the chain rules. So I'm going to put the 3 outside of the 4 minus the x, making sure I take one away from the indice. Now don't forget, when you differentiate with brackets, okay, or product or a product, or um, is what we call it, um, function of a function, sorry, we need to multiply by the diff, uh, derivative of the inside part. So let's times that by negative 1, because that's what that is. Okay, that's the first bit. That's u v dash, so it's a bit of a mouthful. Plus v u dash, well, it's 4 minus x cubed. Should be nice, short of this one. And then u dash is 4 times 3 is 12 x cubed. Okay, so dy dx, or y dash, whatever you want to have there. Okay, now let's just group things. Now, I'm going to keep these brackets. What you actually might notice, these brackets are the same. So I'm just going to keep them out there. I'm going to simplify the negative 1 times the 3 times the 3x to the power of 4. So 3 times 3 is 9 times negative 1 is negative 9x to the power of 4. Brackets, 4 minus x all squared. Plus 12x cubed, 4 minus x cubed. Now at the moment, that's probably, uh, you know, if you're getting to that point, I'm pretty happy. Um, but the more advanced options, I'm going to put all here because this is where we're going to start simplifying things. We want to make it a little bit nicer. You'll notice that these brackets here are exactly the same. So what we're actually going to do, we're going to factorize 4 minus x squared because I've got that whole thing there and that we definitely know that square goes into that one. I'm going to put that at the front. So 4 minus x squared. Okay, now, so what would I need to um, times this by to make that term there? Well, we're simply left with times the negative, I might put in these brackets, 9x to the power of 4 plus, okay, so I've dealt with that side. Now, I've got this 12x cubed here. However, I only took out two 4 minus x's. So I've still got a 4 minus x left over there. Okay? Because again, I took two away, put them at the front. Okay, so I'm left with one. 
Now let's just clean it up a little bit. We've got 4 minus x all squared brackets. Now we've got minus 9x to the power of 4 plus 12x cubed times 4 makes uh, 12 fours of 48 x cubed minus 12x cubed times x is 12x to the power of 4. Might just need a little bit of room here. Okay, so we get 4 minus x all squared brackets. Now here we can do minus 9 minus 12, which makes minus 21 x to the power of 4 plus 48 x to the power of 3. Now to be honest, if you get anywhere near this answer at the moment, I'm, I'm pretty happy. But we want to factorize as much as we possibly can out. And you might notice here that 3 goes into both of these terms here. Okay, so I'm going to take 3 at the front, and actually, not just 3, 3x three cubed goes into both of those. So brackets, we get 4 minus x squared, brackets. Now, if I take 3 out of here, I'm left with minus 7x, because those two times get to give negative 21x to the power of 4, plus, and 48 divided by 3 is 16, and x cubed, x cubed goes out. Okay. So I've got my final answer there. I'm just going to quickly take that. So what we've got there is 3x three, three cubed brackets 4 minus x all squared brackets minus 7x plus 16. And that's as low as I can possibly go. Okay, these are some really tough questions now. As you can see, they get much more challenging. Okay, let's have a look at another question. Okay. So let's go for um, quite a tough one, I guess. So we're going to have um, differentiate. Don't really need to write that because we're differentiating all of these. Um, x over 4x plus 5 to the power of 7. Okay, so for these, when we're looking at dy dx, um, at the moment we're, we're looking at things with um, you know, our indices or, or on top. So what we've actually got here is x times 4x plus 5 to the negative 7. So you can see what I've done there. I've put the negative 7 on top, so I've got two products. So we're doing the product rule, which is product times a product. We will learn a way how to do this next lesson um, without having to write it this way. But let's let's do the product rule. So it's uv dash, so it's x times. Okay, now let's um, differentiate the second term. Negative 7 outside of 4x plus 5 to negative 8. Make sure we do negative 7 minus 1. Then we also need to times it by what's inside, so differentiate it. So it's just 4. Okay, so that's uv dash. Plus, now let's do vu dash. 4x plus 5 to negative 7. Okay, times. Um, well, if I differentiate x, we just get 1. So dy dx is equal to, okay, now let's just rewrite nicely. 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. We've got an x out the front there. We've got 4x plus 5 to the negative 8. Plus 1 times that is just 4x plus 5 to the negative 7. Now, this is what I want to point out. Be careful. Last time we looked at factorizing out the brackets because they were the same. Um, the issue is here, because they're negative powers, um, they're going to be slightly different. Okay, This is not 4x plus 5 times 4x plus 5 times 4x plus 5. Okay, That doesn't work. It's 1 over that amount. So if this indice is negative, don't factorize out. Okay, it's just let's leave it as it is. So if we've got this, what, what I'm now going to do, I'm going to try to rewrite this um, as a um, or without the negative indices. So we've got negative 28x all over because this whole thing is over, and we've got 4x plus 5 to the power of 8 plus 1 over. 4x plus 5 to the power of 7. 
Now obviously if we want to add these two fractions together, that's what we want to do, simplify, we're missing a 4x plus 5 on the bottom here. So let's times the top and bottom by 4x plus 5, So which will mean that's the power of 8, and this will mean this is 4x plus 5 on the top. So we're now left with minus 28x plus 4x plus 5 all over 4x plus 5 to the power of 8 which is equal to negative 28 plus uh, 4x is negative 24x plus 5 all over 4x plus 5 to the power of 8 and that is my answer. Okay, we're going to do one last question. I know this is getting a little bit tough for some of them. This one is not going to be nice, let me tell you. Um, it's going to be a little bit nasty. Okay, so this is the number example 5. So let's take a nice tricky one. Uh, let's take something that looks like this. Um, y is equal to 2x plus 9. And then square root of x squared minus 4. Okay. So again, what we're going to do, I'm just going to quickly rewrite this and put this as y is equal to 2x plus 9 in brackets outside of x squared minus 4. 4 to the power of a half. I'm now going to use my uv dash plus vu dash. Okay, so let's have a crack at this. So dy dx is equal to, okay, u is 2x plus 9 times my v dash. So we've got a half outside of x squared minus 4. Take away 1 is negative a half times it by the derivative of the inside, which is 2x. Okay, plus my v, which is my x squared minus 4 to the power of a half, times my u dash, which is simply just 2. And again, I can see, hey, those brackets look similar, so we're on the right track. So dy dx is equal to, let's times 2x by a half, and that gives me x outside of 2x plus 9 times x squared minus 4 negative a half plus x squared negative 4 a half, and let's put the 2 at the front there. Now again, there's a negative there, so I'm not going to be able to factorise these things out. So um, all we can do realistically now is start to put them into the fraction form. I probably could expand this out. This probably works out if you're right to make 2x squared plus 9x. I'm going to put it all over because this whole thing is over the negative and it's the power of a half, so it's the square root of x squared minus 4 plus, now this is 2 outside of square root x squared minus 4. Now that's a positive a half, so it's not 1 over. Now for this type of question, I mean, <laughs> To be honest, again, if you get that part, you know, you, you pretty much know the answer. But we want to write it as one sort of fraction, I guess. So what we're going to try to do is, this is currently over 1. So we want them to be over the same. So let's multiply this by um, root x squared minus 4. And I'm going to times the top by root x squared minus 4. Okay. So we get a little bit more room here. Okay, so we get dy over dx is equal to, so we get 2x squared plus 9x. Now, if I multiply these two things together, we just get 2 outside of x squared minus 4, because obviously if we multiply them, we square them basically, the square root disappears. We've now got them over that x squared minus 4. Okay, so if we multiply this out, so we get 2x squared plus 9x plus 2x squared minus 8 all over the square root of x squared minus 4. Okay, so dy over dx is equal to, well, 2x squared plus 2x squared is 4x squared. 9x minus 8 all over the square root of x squared minus 4. And that is my answer. Okay, look, uh, there are some really challenging questions in this stuff. 
as long as you can remember the dy dx is equal to uv dash plus vu dash start with the easier questions work your way through them um, the second part where you have to factorize things out or um, put more of the common denominator it does get more challenging but hey that's why we love derivatives enjoy <laughs>